Hello and welcome to this Come to Jesus Daily devotional where we continue in the Gospel of Luke. This week we've been looking at the account in chapter 6 verses 12 to 16 about after prayer Jesus appoints the 12 apostles and today we'll see how Jesus did not choose the most likely candidates to found the church. Let's read from Luke 6, 12 to 16. One of those days, Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. When morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose 12 of them, whom he also designated apostles. Simon, whom he called Peter, his brother, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called the Zealot, Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. Today's lesson. God chooses people from all sorts of backgrounds to be Christians and to be leaders in his church because he is gracious and wants to reach all kinds of people. After praying all night, Jesus didn't choose a group of perfect men. He chose ordinary and flawed men. And in so doing, he made no mistake. He chose Peter, whom would deny him. He chose Simon the Zealot. Zealots were political activists, radically opposed to Roman rule. He chose Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. In choosing these 12 we learn that God chooses to work through people, firstly. He works through people. He doesn't need to, does he? But he does. Jesus appointed apostles to found the church and continue the mission. God doesn't need us, but he chooses to work through us. Secondly, in choosing these 12, we learn that God works through flawed people. We will have seasons of success and To varying degrees, we will experience failure and sin. However, God works through the likes of us to show that he is a God of grace and all success is to his glory. Thirdly, in choosing these 12, we learn that the wheat grows with the tares. The church, even among her leaders, has men and women who are not truly born again. We should not be surprised that some leaders fall. It has always been thus, even among those whom Jesus chose. Finally, in choosing these 12, we learn that some like Peter, who heads the list and has a special name, have great prominence, but others are hardly heard about although I'm confident they still did great things for God. So, in response, God chooses people from all sorts of backgrounds to be Christians and to be leaders in his church because he is gracious and wants to reach all kinds of people. Do you know that God wants to work through you? With all your struggles, have you become discouraged because leaders have failed? or that you have had so little prominence compared to others. Let the choosing of the 12 encourage you afresh. As we finish, perhaps you'd like to pray this with me. Lord Jesus, as you chose the 12 with all their failings, so you choose ordinary people to serve and to lead your church. Please encourage my heart afresh that you have chosen and want to work through me for the extension of your kingdom. Amen.